Hello and welcome to Fidelity's Green Pod, where we bring you a series of audio casts highlighting the latest thinking and insights on sustainable investing and ESG issues, where ESG stands for Environmental, Social and Governance. I'm Liao Shangwei from the Fidelity Singapore Intermediary Sales Team, and I'm a Sustainability Ambassador at Fidelity. In this episode on cows, methane and the climate threat, we break down the link between how cows and methane contribute to climate change. Did you know that one key opportunity for combating global warming is not concerned with what comes out of factory chimneys or car exhaust pipes, but rather what comes out of cows? While carbon dioxide gets more attention among greenhouse gases, methane is in some ways a more threatening pollutant, accounting for about 30% of global warming since pre-industrial times. The two main sources of methane emissions from human activity are the rearing of livestock and oil and gas extraction. Cows reared for the meat and dairy industries are a major source of atmospheric methane and several pioneering new methods to avoid or reduce emissions from livestock are catching the attention of investors focused on sustainability. This problem of methane emissions from livestock isn't a new one. It's particular to ruminants including cattle, sheep and goats. After grasses, all grains are ingested into the fore stomach, they are digested creating substantial amounts of methane as a byproduct. This is then released into the atmosphere when the animals burp or pass gas from the other end of their bodies, reducing or avoiding the huge and harmful amounts of methane that cows release into the atmosphere when they belch or flatulate is a potent way to combat climate change. For investors focused on sustainability, there are a few ways to gain exposure to reducing methane emissions from livestock. First, Plant-based meat or dairy substitutes of the type produced by companies like Beyond Meat or Impossible Foods make up a fast-growing product segment and are now widely available to consumers. In addition, a number of lab-grown or cultured meats are also in the process of being commercialized. These are made from animal cells grown in vitro that don't involve the rearing or slaughtering of animals. Big meat and dairy producers are aware of the environmental impact of their operations and have been working to varying extents to mitigate them. But there is debate about the best approach. There are no easy answers and in some cases, it comes down to the trade-offs between biodiversity and water usage. Several companies are pioneering more innovative solutions to capturing or reducing methane from livestock, although so far, None has been adopted by the industry on a wide-scale basis. Some focus on methane capture technologies, while others have developed natural feed additives that can reduce methane emissions. Many promising opportunities are at an early stage, but more action is needed for methane reduction efforts to get a pace in a more meaningful way. Thank you for listening to Fidelity Green Pot and stay tuned for our next episode. For more sustainable investing insights, visit fidelity.com.sg Investment involves risk. Please seek advice from a financial advisor. This advertisement has not been reviewed by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, FIL Investment Management Singapore Limited.